TIG Welding Aluminum on this episode of Full Bore with Brian Fuller and Mark Prosser. TIG Welding Aluminum. Woohoo! Welcome! You just got yourself a brand new red TIG machine and you want to get going on some aluminum. What do you do? Well, you need to get yourself some 100% argon, turn it on, unscrew it, then you're going to set it to 15 to 20 CFHs, cubic feet per hour. Now make sure you look on the argon side, AR, which is right there to make sure you're doing right. And we're going to come down here, come down, come down, turn on the machine, we've already done that, flip it to AC. So AC is going to be in normal circumstances, aluminum only, DC for steel. Got that going? We're going to set to 100 amps with your dial and then come on over, meet Mr. Prosser. Here we go. I'm gonna give Fuller safety glasses before we weld. So, one of the biggest problems with aluminum is the oxide. This stuff's got a coating on. Everybody thinks aluminum is really, really clean material. But I got a stainless steel wire brush here. And so, I wire brush this off a little bit and you can see the stuff that comes off this aluminum. It's just filthy, right? <laughs> we gotta get that out of there. Grinders don't work because grinders, most of them, grinding discs are made out of aluminum oxide. With this new camera, we can show you how this stuff breaks up though. When we're running an AC, it goes from DC negative to DC positive and removes that oxide, right, Fuller? That's right. You ready? Watch this. I'm not even gonna weld yet. I'm just gonna remove this oxide. Check it out. And you say you are. Look at that oxide peeling off there. Now this visible welding camera really shows how we can get in here and weld. This is new technology to be able to show you down into the weld. Wow, that's really cool. Isn't that amazing? Man, you can really see that. So now we'll go right back to the beginning and we'll actually make the weld. Ready? Get on the gas with aluminum. It dissipates heat a lot faster than steel, so you got to get on the gas and get it rolling. It likes to be welded hot and fast. Now he's trying to keep his tungsten about, you know, 16, 2 and 8 from the work. He's keeping the torch at about 85 degrees from the material and pushing, as you can see, and then just dipping it right in. That's pretty, man. That looks great. And you can really see in the camera. Woo! You should teach welding. Look at that. Yeah. That aluminum likes, it likes heat. Get on the heat and go. A lot of times people have a hard time starting it. That's because they're, that's because they're fiddling into it. You got to hammer that heat. Now, one other thing we just want to mention, there are different alloys of aluminum and you want to make sure that you match the alloy of your filler rod to your parent material. Or the best that you can. Yeah, the best that you can. And obviously there are a lot of resources from that. Some of which you will see directly afterwards. Anything else we need to mention? Get out there and weld. Yeah. For more information, check out LincolnElectric.com or FullerMoto.com or these great publications, Full Bore Welding, Full Bore Sheet Metal, and the new ARC Magazine. Also, big thanks to our sponsors, Lincoln Electric, Jet Tools, Industrial Depot, and ARP Fasteners.